let us now get into the next topic where we analyze the various aspects of the macro environment as we have just seen macro environment is called as pest where we have the political the economic and the socio-cultural as well as the technological involvement as far as the environment is concerned let us now look at the socio-cultural environment that could affect the business or the working of a business so changes in the indian business environment includes growing of fast food culture now we have never known about the fast food culture earlier but today the fast food culture has grown to such an extent that people who are working depend on fast food centers in order to have their food now in earlier days we had restaurants we had hotels which used to provide us prepared food but today people do not have sufficient time to eat because both husband and wife are working so when husband and wife are working it becomes very very difficult for the wife to cook at home for the husband in earlier days the wife used to be a housewife she used to cook at home so husband used to get the food for, cooked at home but today people want people are scarce of time they they are not able to cope up with the time that they have the 24 hours that they have so the culture of fast food has started gaining ground people are able to eat quickly people are able to dispose the food quickly as well as the fast food so this is one of the things that has affected or change or the change that has led to the business environment as far as the indian business is concerned women moving from kitchen to corporate as i said earlier people were only housewives but today women want equal stature in the society they have also started working in the offices like any men would do so since women are working in the office they do not have sufficient time to cook or prepare food for the family hence the problem of the uh, women nature women culture has started arising because of which though the earning is much higher but the food culture has reduced the social culture has reduced then the uh, the burgoing of the middle class most of the people have started moving from the middle class to a sort of a higher middle class so because of the income level that has started uh, increasing increasing literacy level has also led to the changes of social culture so people have nowadays you don't find that you know people say that you be away from a particular sect of people so today the literacy level has improved the social culture as far as the indian business is concerned everybody is using different types of products declining birth rates and increasing senior citizen so increasing of senior citizen and declining of birth rate earlier people used a family used to have 10 to 12 children but today there is a limitation of two or one child in a family now decreasing birth rate and increasing of senior citizen that means the death rate has come down because the death rate has come down the cultural changes are happening in the environment because more of senior citizens are existent if you take a country like japan you find that maximum number of senior citizens are there in japan people above 70 are more when compared to the youth in japan so increasing health consciousness people are becoming more and more health conscious more gyms have started so a change has happened today you find a lot of people running institutes for teaching yoga so people come there and practice yoga now these type of businesses have developed only because of the changes in the environment as far as the socio culture aspect is concerned if the change in the social culture had not taken place probably you would not have seen more and more number of gyms or you would not have seen more and num more number of yoga centers appearing in the country today apart from this the technological environment like examples of xerox and canon in in what happened xerox was the market leader as far as copiers were concerned but xerox did not bother to take care of technological advancement they did not bother to come out with the requirement of common people canon looked at the specific requirement of common people and found that they needed to come out with products which are innovative products which are economical xerox had patent as far as the copier was concerned whereas canon did not copy any of the models of xerox but they came out with a different 
type of where they came out with a different type of Z copiers which started clicking in the market and they started grabbing the market share from Xerox. Then the biggest revolution as far as technology is concerned is, is the advent of computers. Now today with the computers that has come in the telegram services in the post office has closed down. That means the change in the business environment, technological change in the business environment has affected the business as far as telegrams or telegraphs is concerned. Today you find no more telegraphs. It is, it is a history now. So this type of change has happened as far as technological advancement or improvement is concerned because computers are available. So you have email facilities available today. Tomorrow something else might come and there could be change in the business environment. Technological changes is of two ways. One convergent change where incremental innovation and improvement of optimizes the ability of the organization to succeed in the existing environment. Now a particular product is in innovated, a particular product is improved. So incremental improvement of that particular product helps in the existence or stabilization of an organization in the existing environment that is existing today. Or the divergent change which involves changes where framework of organization undergoes or discontinuities. That means a particular, like for example, I said the divergent change is that today email are being delivered by the post office in rural areas. So the post office receives the email and they take out a printout of this email and they deliver it to the rural area. So they have discontinued with the telegraph but they, they have started innovating. The convergent aspect here is delivering of emails to the rural people whereas the discontinuation of telegraph is the divergent change that has happened as far as the post office is concerned. So these are the two types of ways in which the technological changes happens or technological uh, advancement can lead to change in the business structure or can affect the business as a whole. So as we've seen the advent of computers is one of the most important aspects for changing technological advent as far as the business enterprise is concerned. Now coming to the economic environment which could affect the business, there are various forces of economic environment which are capital, labor, and prices, government physical policies or tax policies of the government, customers themselves could affect a business. Now, for example, if there is no proper capital available to start a new venture or start a new business, there would be very few business organizations that would be running in the country today. If there is more capital available or funds available to invest as capital, then you would find more competitive uh, organizations coming out and launching new business enterprises in the market. So this way, if the customers have better disposable income, the economic conditions of, of the customers are better, then you would find the purchasing ability of the customers to be much, much better. The general economic conditions of the customers needs to be better in order to have a better business enterprise or profitable business enterprise. The economic system, as we said, we, we, we spoke about the free economic system, the, the mixed economic system, the capitalistic type of economic system. So it, it depends on what sort of an economic system a country adopts. If it is completely a capitalistic or, a sec, or it, is it a mixed capitalistic structure or is it a free enterprise where the, the private players have a lot of scope to implement no monopoly as far as the government interference is concerned. Less amount of government interference helps in better business environment. So economic growth automatically happens depending on the type of economic systems that is being adopted in a country. The interest rates, the lower the interest rate, the better the amount available as far as the investment is concerned. Taxes also affect as far as the economic structure or environment is concerned. If more tax is being levied on a product, then the, the production of the product becomes very difficult. The sale of a product becomes very, very difficult. So tax structure also plays a very important role as far as economic environment is concerned. Apart from this, the political or the political situation or the political or, or the political legal system that is prevalent in a country also plays a very, very important important role as far as a business enterprise. It could affect the business. It could have a business completely closed down or it could have a business that is doing very well depending on the political system. Now foreign investments came into India because of the change that happened in 1991. If, if the change had not happened in 1991, then probably you would not have found so many foreign products 
available in Indian market. So many foreign investments happening in Indian market. So many foreign companies operating in Indian market. So political environment, attitudes of the government and the legislature change with the social demands and the beliefs. So in 1991, when Manmohan Singh decided to come out with the policy of LPG, he basically looked at globalization as an important aspect. So he liberalized a lot of funds to be available in Indian market. So a lot of foreign companies came and established themselves since 1991 into Indian market. Today the new structure of FDI is getting ready. So if FDI comes into Indian market, then you will find more of more foreign direct investments happening in Indian market. When more foreign direct in, uh, direct investments happens in the market, the business enterprises starts growing. So this affects the business enterprise. So whatever is the decision taken by the government could affect the business enterprise. The prevalent political uncertainty could affect the business strategies. So any strategy that you have as far as the business is concerned could be affected if there is improper government or if the government is not a stable government. Anytime the government could fall, so your business structure could fall. So legal environment, it consists of judiciary and legislation. It becomes very, very important. And also the natural environment which could affect a business, that is the natural resource availability. Now, for example, if there is an organization that is manufacturing products with wood and if you do not have proper supply of wood then it becomes very very difficult so natural resource availability also becomes very very important what what has happened to the cola gold mines today today we are importing a lot of gold because the natural resource that we had as far as cola gold is concerned is not available we do not have gold anymore in the mines of cola gold fields so hence we we have to import gold into our country so our rates depends upon the bullion market that is existing globally so this affects the business if, if the rates are higher the purchasing power of the people comes down or reduces when the purchasing power of the people reduces the sale of the product also reduces so that is what happens the fluctuation in the price could also re lead to the demand of a particular product it could increase the demand or decrease the demand depending upon the type of type of prices that are prevalent at that particular point of time in the country.